Hi everyone, this is Lisa and today I'm going to show you how to make these two cards from the same stamp using the same coloring method, just a different way to cut them both out. So to get started I have my stamp called Mr. and Me by Stampinus and I'm going to ink it up with Momento Tuxedo Black. This is a good ink to use when you're using Copic markers. I'm going to ink it up real well and then I'm going to set it on my paper and stamp it and then I press my fingers over it to get a nice good solid image. Then once the image is complete I'll start coloring the image and I'm going to speed this up here so you guys don't have to watch me color the whole thing slowly. It took me quite a while. I wish I could color this fast but anyhow I'll write in the bottom the links of the different Copic colors I used but basically I went from light to medium back to light then dark to light and keep blending the colors back and forth for the skin tones I used E50, E51 and E53 and then for the light pink I also have some Prismacolor alcohol inks and I used PB133 and um, for the cheeks, I used the Copic R22. Then for the wedding dress, since things aren't just plain white, they have shadows and whatnot, and to add some depth to the dress, I used C1 and W00 to add some highlights and shading to the wedding dress. So you can see I kind of added it along the lines of the stamp set. It kind of gives you an idea of where things would be darker and lighter. Then for the mouse's tuxedo, I used C3, C5, and C7, and I kept going back and forth and blending those. I started out with C3. Here you can see C5 along the marks of the where the wrinkles would be, then going back with C3, then back with C7, then I'll blend again with C3. And I just kind of keep going back and forth until I get the shading and everything how I like on his tuxedo. Then you can see I go back in with the colorless blender and kind of clean up the edges a little bit. Now for the flowers, I used R22 and R24. And then for the stems, I use BG75. Now I'm going to cut out my background about a quarter inch from each side so that you can see a little bit of my card base. Then I'm going to attach um, my adhesive to it. And then I'll place it on the card base, as you can see here. And once the card base is down, I'll get out my scissors and I'm going to fussy cut around the image. And I'll even use my X-Acto knife in the middle to get a nice cut edge. And I'll use my powder tool to get rid of the static and I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment. First I'm going to place my image to see where I want my stamping to go, kind of plan it out a little bit. Then I'll put use my Versamark ink. Stamp it down. Nice, get a, get a nice impression. Then I'll get out my embossing powder and I'll spread it over there. Put it back in the jar. And I'll get out my heat tool, heat it up, and emboss it. And you can see. There's a nice gold image there. Then I'll put some um, pop dots and stick the image on top of the card. Card's all ready to go. Once I got this card done, I decided that the image wasn't very good. You couldn't see it very well. And so I decided to uh, change it so that you could see it better. So I'm going to cut a strip of green paper out and I'm going to emboss the same sentiment and put it over that so that you can see it better. And then I used some die cut hearts that I had and placed them on the card. 
and some stickles, sparkle stickles. So for the second card, I am going to use a different background and stamp my sentiment and put it on foam adhesive again. And the two, the difference between the two cards is on the one card, I used my silhouette to um, cut it out and on the other card I fussy cut it by hand so the left card is cut out with the silhouette and the right card is cut out by hand I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below please feel free to subscribe also by pushing the button below I'll try to load a video every week hopefully on Mondays and please also feel free to view my blog scrappyrx.blogspot.com thank you